Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Spyro the Dragon, Ripto's Rage. I'm Drez Plays. In the last episode, we started our new adventure here in Avalar. It is a mysterious land, rather beautiful in scenery. Um, when we started, we actually had the super flames, so we were able to 100% complete Glimmer. Uh, but we utilized a cheat code in order to disable Super Flame so that we can play the game normally. So, from this point on, we are playing based on standard gameplay rules, um, which is good. And what we're going to do now is jump into Idle Springs. It is the second of many worlds in Summer Forest. One of three home worlds of Avalar. I'm very excited. Idle Springs, a lot of these stages are really beautiful and pretty. Oh, look! The idol is alive! Run, little idol carver! Uh, someone is thirsty, <laughs> which is saying something because there's a lot of water in this level. So, uh, okay, this is going to be a level where we do have to come back because of underwater swimming. I guess I should start with Colossus. Oh, wow. The idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Really? So, what we need to do... ...is destroy the idols and the idol carvers... ...will break open the locks and let us continue. Now we have... I guess I don't really need to worry about gems because I have to come back anyways for underwater gems. But I, I, I really just have to pop. This is the stage that teaches us metal enemies must be ran over and big enemies must be uh, flamed. So that is a very good technique, very useful. We will definitely be using that going forward. Very mindful, very demure. Those metal shields oh. are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Why, thank you, Zoe. I didn't just explain that to my audience. Your input and feedback will be noted for future generations. And bash. These blue butterflies are what give Spark full life and extra lives for Spyro. So always consider uh, breaking those and freeing the blue butterflies. I think the screen flash. I might be going crazy though. I am known to go crazy and cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. We've got ourselves another temple that's been opened. Let's proceed. Rude. Don't try to thwack my man. Bash these open and the gateway is open. And Zoe is up here now. As if I have not been doing that. You know what? One of these days I'm going to play a video game. Doing no controller inputs except for what the game has taught me at the time to see how far tutorials get me. Because, like, I've been moving the camera already. What else does she want from me? Okay. And 
That's the end. Maru, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. So we've already completed the level to get the talisman. It is really easy to do. And not all that difficult to complete. So now we're gonna follow the river just slightly. I don't think all the way out. No. So go back up the river. Um, if we go into our guidebook and look into our skill points, we need to land on idle in order to get a skill point. Now I believe that idle is still up ahead. We haven't received any orbs yet. But we will be getting one here in a minute. That idol there is the one that they are referring to. It took quite a bit of time to figure that one out. So, ah, uh, that's the skill point we're going to go for right now. We want to be here. Go. And leap. Skill point acquired. Skill points also give us levels. Fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Okay. Charge. Oh. Supercharge! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Supercharge. I missed one. Here we go. Perfect. Do a little dance. Call upon the power of the Thunder God. Oh my God. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Okay. Uh, don't get these hula girls angry. They know how to atomize. <laughs> their enemies <laughs> that wasn't just like oh it's cute little explosion no that thing was vaporized <laughs> oh boy uh good thing they're on our side i wonder why don't they do the hula dance to ripto they're like their thunder deity god clearly is strong enough <laughs> that was so powerful. It was unnecessarily an unnecessarily overpowered thunder attack. Oh boy. Okay. So now what we want to do is follow this backwards because there are secrets. There's still some gemstones in the treetops. I don't think we ever have a level as difficult as treetops, I believe. We light this on fire. And we need to go behind the statue. Okay. I 
think there's an underwater cave. Uh, it's positive there was a puzzle room too. But I guess not. Okay. Let's check the guidebook. Yes, so there is one more, but obviously we can't do anything until we have swim. So we're not going to return to Idle Springs until we get to the last stage. It will just make some things easier. Oh. Aw, oh, this idol is actually really nice. Maybe. Maybe I'll just wait until... <sighs> no. Mm. My brain says come back sooner. My heart says no. But my brain also says, ignore what the heart wants. Look what happened with the one idol carver. He wanted a girlfriend. And that didn't happen. So let's go into Colossus. Over here we do have another skill point. I will have to double check what it is before we get started on the level. As each level does have its own I mean I call it individual stories but in reality it is just get to the end of the stage. It's nothing really more complex than that. Oh boy. Gross! Okay. This monk is trying to give them a goat. Oh. Uh, well, I don't think the ye Yeti ate the goat. I think the Yeti ate the monk. Okay, so, guidebook. What do we have here? Perfect in hockey. Okay, that seems pretty easy. Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. So what they want us to do is to get to the Yeti and beat the Yeti. Seems pretty easy. Our enemy this time are goats. So let's make sure we burn them all. And our enemies are these Emperor Penguins if we want Spark to heal up. Concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Okay. We have a big bison. Oh! Yeah, get out of here, bison. Rude. No, they could be buffalo, too. I don't really know. I don't know animals. I'm sorry. I know they're not alpacas, though. That's an important distinction to know. Or could they be alpacas? Okay. Perfect. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? People who need keys. 
big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large Yaks. That makes sense. They're yak attacks. Okay. And then we have mountain goats. So, we need to destroy Il. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power up in that world. If a power up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Yeah, so as I was just about to say, we need to defeat 11 more enemies in order to get the power up open. I believe the power up in this world is a jump. It's an ex it's a high jump from that particular spot, so keep that in mind. Look what I can do. I mean, it's not as impressive as what your brothers can do, Mr. Monk. In fact, one lifted an entire building. You're just lifting a tiki statue. I'd say that's not very impressive at all. Some of these paintings are interesting. Burn these. Bash the metal vases. Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. Okay. I always do the hover now because it's just... It's a great safety net. Get out of here, Mr. Goat. Oh, it's not that there's 11 left. It's that I need 11 spirit orbs. And we're at 10 now, so we need one more. So... Even though I'm a vegetarian... I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. We're gonna torch. Oh. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Anyway, Rude. I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Sure you were. Okay. Well, we're not quite done with this world yet. What we're gonna do is make sure we have all the goodies. I believe the Yeti's death does count. Yes, it does. So, what we want to do is go up here. Make sure we get our points here first. Then we want to go this way. Let's collect all of our gems over here. Oop. That evil spirit escaped. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Okay, good to know. So, we have an evil spirit that has now altered all of the gold statues. A flame attack will uh, exercise the evil spirit I guess would be the best way to describe what's happened uh, and let's just make sure I don't believe there is one out here but I've been wrong in other instances before and yes there is one okay I don't think there's others but there are gems all over here, so we will collect the gems. 
You are unable to jump and run. You can flame. So you must be at certain points on the ice to jump. But now let's make sure we come back. Because now we have another gold statue. And the gold statue over here. Yes, there is. So now that is five. We do have a shortcut back. Actually, two, because we have that one, too. So let's launch ourselves. And that thing requires a rocket. Where have I missed a rocket? On this rooftop? Possible. I forgot about this uh, statue for sure. But no rocket. Then the rocket must be... Ah, right there. So let's go up. And back down here. And launching the rocket. Kaboom. Whoopsie. Did the drop a little too soon. Okay. We are almost done. I think there are two statues left. One. Okay, there were three statues left. And the last one. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. And the professor gave us a new orb. Okay. There are 15 gems left. I believe they are going to be out here in the back. Right up here. We got all the gems. Ah, Spyro. Welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Uh, sure. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Okay. So let's get the puck. And let's get five goals. So we want to go fire. Oh. And we got three goals. Let's go for a fourth. 
Fire! Yeah! And now let's get our fifth and final goal. Well done. Have this. Okay, we got one of the two orbs in this match. Would you like to try a game of one on one? Okay. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. So now our goal is to score. Not just score, but score a perfect game. So, out. What that could mean is winning five nothing. In fact, that's what it looks like it's going to be. This minigame is a lot harder on the original, I believe. Well, and we got our skill points. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. So then why would you hold on to it? These monks are weird. Anyways, that's 100% here in Colossus. We don't have to leave by the portals, but the portal is just right here, so let's head on out. I think what's going to happen is we're going to get two worlds per episode. And now you try lifting the statue. Nope. You have to arm. Oh! Walk away. Nobody has to know what happened to that guy. There's no evidence. Keep walking. So what we'll do now is we'll get the swimming ability... Go back to Idle Springs and complete the gems and the other orb mission there. And then finish off Summer Forest. Okay, money bags. Uh, Spyro, would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Yes, please. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. So, he is saying that we now have this ability. And we can use the jump button to paddle, which is just a pleasant way of saying swim in a linear direction. Guidebook. Back to... Idle Springs. One of the benefits of the guidebook is this quick travel.
Now, I did mention that we would be doing Summer Forest, but looking at my recording time, we will not be doing Summer Forest. We will just be doing um, basic, uh, just finishing off Idle Spring. Because then that is two worlds, 100, well, three worlds, but two worlds, 100% complete. Spyro does not have an air gauge in this uh, game, thank goodness. Uh, that would probably have just made things a lot harder, and we don't need difficulty. We need ease. He's like a 2D platformer Mario. And then up. And... Okay, we do have a puzzle here. We got all the gems, now we have some ore. With all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk. Okay. I believe the solution is touch the four corners. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. So now we go down. And the next challenge. I don't think it's this pond. Oh, it is this pond. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, flame fish to the idol. The idol is very picky. So, not red fish, just blue and yellow fish. miss. You use your flame attack, by the way, to, to grill the fish. Oh, shoot. Blue. Red. Blue. Ah. Uh, gosh dang it. Okay, this kind of helps. Blue fish. Blue fish. Yellow fish. No. Yes. There we go. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. So that's near the end. Also, how is that a puzzle? Did you solve a puzzle of the riddle of feed the statue the fish and you just couldn't feed the fish? That wasn't a puzzle. Come on. 
Open sesame. Hurry up. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Nope. Yeah, see, if I could run the, the lock over. One, two, three. Okay, here's the colored full stone. Jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Jump on the stones in the correct order. Okay. Blue star. That's a square. Square? No. Okay, so... Is it... Matching the icon red. Okay. Now is it matching the color? That would be you. Nope. Let's start. Okay. Uh, is it the shape of the platform now? Nope. Well, it might be this one. Okay. Now it's orange. And a square. Those are triangles. Moon. Okay. Now it should be the moon. Because we matched. So it went match the star. Match the button shape. Match the button color. Match the icon shape. And then the last one. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. And that gives us an orb. Thank you, Zoe. All orbs are collected. Check our guidebook 100%. Check our things. And there we go. So, let's actually go travel back to the Summer Forest this way. Because this will bring us back to the start of Summer Forest. Where next time we're going to start there so that we can swim through the water. With that, guys, thank you so much for joining us in today's episode of Spyro the Dragon, Ripto's Rage. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash the like button and subscribe if you have not for more Spyro the Dragon content. Next time, we're going to clear out Summer Forest and then move on to another world here in the hub world of Avalar. We will see you all then. Durez Plays is out.